Uh, Hi, I'm Dr. Rob Cushman, the Acting Medical Officer of Health for the Renfrew County and District Health Unit. And today I have a very important message about continuing to get the as many people who are eligible vaccinated as possible. Now, I want to start off by congratulating everybody. We are now standing at 89% of folks who are eligible who've had a first vaccine and roughly 85% who've had a second one, and that'll be catching up in the next few weeks. So we're looking at one out of, or one out of nine people who haven't been vaccinated. And it's a very important that they get vaccinated. And that's what I wanna to stress today. And what's even more interesting, it's about one in three between the age group of 18 and 40. And this is particularly bothersome because this allows the virus to take hold in our community. When you combine the eligible people who are with the children who are not eligible, there are some 25,000 people in Renfrew County who are not vaccinated. It's roughly a 50-50 split. And this is more than enough room, more than enough people for the virus to take hold. And we're seeing it. In fact, we're seeing it now as we move into winter. Ontario's having trouble. Their numbers are like ours. We're having more trouble in Renfrew County. So it's very important that people get vaccinated. And pretty soon we'll have, we think we'll have approval for the elementary school kids and that'll again will help us. But today I wanna to concentrate on those who are eligible, that's people over the age of 11, who are not vaccinated, and in particular, those between the age of 18 and 40. Now, let's just look at this. This has become a, vac a, a pandemic of the unvaccinated. It's very clear. I mean, in Renfrew County, for that matter, it looks about, if you're vaccinated, you have about a one in 30 or one in 25 chance of getting infected compared to those who don't. So as I said before, there's enough out there uh, across Canada, there's three and a half million people who haven't been vaccinated. And even in Renfrew County, there's ample opportunity for the, Delta, for the virus and the variants that we're seeing now, Delta, of course, we've been seeing it for probably six months, but hopefully not other variants that are even worse. And as we move into winter, it's so important that we get vaccinated. So why are you resistant to getting vaccinated? And I'm speaking to the one in 10 or one in nine people in our community who are eligible. First of all, what about the safety of this vaccine and what about its effectiveness? Well, let's look at safety first. This vaccine was approved. The various vaccines were approved roughly a year ago. And there have been billions of doses worldwide, billions. And this is one of the safest vaccines ever, in fact. It's a strong vaccine, but it's very safe. And for that matter, it's much safer than the disease. We talk about pregnancy. We'll try, imagine getting uh, COVID during pregnancy. Much, much worse. So what are we seeing with this vaccine? We're seeing about one in a thousand people have a flu-like illness or a sore arm. And about one in 10,000 people have what we call a significant side effect, a serious side effect. We've seen the heart side effects and we've seen the odd other one, which we've seen with other vaccines historically. But most of these issues go away quite quickly. And this is only one in 10,000. And if you look at all the people who are eligible, some 12,000 in Renfrew County, it would probably mean one to two people would have a serious uh, reaction and in fact, most of those clear up over time. And when you flip the coin to consider what happens when you have the disease, for example, the heart problems, if you have COVID, are tenfold what they are from the vaccine, probably 20-fold, and they can kill you. And what about long-term effects? Well, okay, we've had these vaccines now for almost a year. We haven't seen any long-term effects. People say, oh, we don't know, you know, it's only three months that we're monitoring effects. Well, no vaccine, in fact, of all the ones we've studied has had long-term effects. And we, what we've seen so far is this one doesn't eat either. mRNA uh, decomposes very quickly. It's a messenger, it delivers the antigen so we can make antibodies and that's it. People say, oh, well, this was a new vaccine. We can't really trust it. Well, in fact, this technology has been waiting to be used for a few years now. And in fact, they were making a flu vaccine when COVID came along. We could have had a new flu vaccine this year and people wouldn't have complained about that. But because we turned all our energies to COVID, 
Some people think that this happened too quickly. And also, we've seen some side effects from these vaccines. These are so strong vaccines, as I mentioned. But look what we're doing now. We're giving a third of the dose um, when it's approved, if and when it's approved, to children under the age of 11, the uh, Pfizer. The Moderna for people under 70 is now going to be half dose. And we very quickly moved away from AstraZeneca. All to say that the safety of these vaccines has been under much more scrutiny worldwide and from the public than any vaccine, and these are safe vaccines. Now, what about the uh, what about the actual effectiveness of this vaccine? Well, we now know in Ontario that if you're vac if you're not vaccinated, you have five times the possibility of getting COVID, and eleven times the possibility of going to hospital, and twenty five to twenty six times the possibility of ending up in the ICU. And talk about being concerned about a vaccine. Imagine being in the ICU on a ventilator where each and every breath is out of your control. When I bring, you know, and when I used to work in these settings, when I bring family in, they just, they couldn't imagine what this was like. They couldn't imagine. And this is not what we want. In fact, in the past four months in Alberta, there have been 126 people in their 30s in the ICU and only four of them were vaccinated. So this is a big problem. And it's very clear that the vaccine is effective and can protect. There is some breakthrough for sure. This isn't a magic bullet. It's not 100% effective, but why is it we're having so much breakthrough? Or why are we having that breakthrough at all? Well, it's because we have a large pool of people who aren't vaccinated. And in fact, the vaccinated people protect the unvaccinated people, whereas the unvaccinated people are jeopardizing those who are vaccinated. So in conclusion, this is a pandemic of the unvaccinated. Three and a half million Canadians have yet to get vaccinated that are eligible. But that number again are the children who are yet to become eligible. And as I said, in Renfrew County, it's about 25,000, a 50-50 split. And really, this is a civic duty. If we want to get back to normal, if we want to survive winter, it's up to each and every one of us to get vaccinated. Very small risks, very small inconvenience compared to the disease and compared to other health problems. And really, you owe it to yourselves to protect yourselves, your family, your loved ones, your workplace, your social activities, your children, the schools, the healthcare systems. And we want to get back to normal as quickly as possible. So this is a civic duty. Canada has not faced a situation like this since World War II. And it's really up to each and every one of us to do what needs to be done to help us get through this. So in conclusion, this is priority number one. Please, please get vaccinated. Thank you.